The project director of Medium Weight Fighter Program has said that National Aerospace Laboratories is working on the radome for Medium Weight Fighter and to meet the first rollout of the first prototype in August 2022. The Aeronautical Development Agency is procuring only two radomes from the British company Cobham. He also said that the first prototype of the Medium Weight Fighter will feature fixed refueling probe initially while the remaining three prototypes will have retractable in-flight refueling probe, due to which infrared search and track system has been shifted to the right side. He also added that the design of dual-rack pylons is currently underway, while the 1,700-litre drop tank's design and analysis has been completed. The radome size of the medium-weight fighter will be 270 mm smaller than the Tejas Mark 1A, but it will have an upscaled indigenous AESA radar system with 992 transmit receive modules for more performance, which is more than the 780 transmit receive modules of the Tejas Mark 1. The medium-weight fighter will be painted with radar-absorbing material, and advanced missile approach warning sensors will be integrated on the spine belly and other locations, that will provide spherical coverage to the aircraft. Apart from the Rudram 2 Astra Mark II Brahmos NG and Scalp cruise missile, it will also be equipped with the Meteor Next Generation air-to-air -air missile, along with a belly-mounted podded variant of GSH-30 gun. The DRDO chief has said that the developmental trials of the quick reaction surface-to-air system is complete, and currently it is undergoing mobility trial as part of user trials with the Indian Air Force, and its induction is expected in 2022. He also informed that the Army variant of the MR SAM has begun developmental test, and is expected to be delivered by 2023. The developmental trial for the Akash Next Generation variant have started, and is expected to go into production by 2023. The DRDO is also developing a new version of the SAW weapon, that will be equipped with an imaging infrared seeker, and it will begin developmental trials in 2022. The Astra Mark II is all set to start development come user trial, while the solid-fuel-ducted ramjet-based Astra Mark III will enter the developmental trial stage in 2022. The 7 km range helicopter launched Helena will start user trials next month, while the 20 km range Sun Tanti tank guided missile is headed for final developmental trial in the next few months. The man-portable anti-tank system is currently at the user trial stage, while the cannon-launched missile will complete all trials by 2022, and will be equipped on both the T-90 and Arjun main battle tanks. HTNP Industries had showcased a scale model of its hypersonic boost glide vehicle, which attracted the attention of defense officials at the recently concluded air show. The company has said, that the HGV-202F will incorporate the speed of a ballistic missile of around Mach 20, and will have maneuvering capabilities of a cruise missile. It will follow an unusual altitude and flight path, that will make it invisible to conventional early warning radar systems, and within 20 minutes of launching, it will be able to cover 5,000 km to hit its designated target. During the Aero India 2021, Bharat Dynamics Limited had launched two new products, which includes the Garud Astro Advanced Anti-Submarine Self-Guided Homing Torpedo, and the Dishani Expendable Air Deployed Anti-Submarine Sonar Boy, and Bharat Dynamics is a development partner on both these programs along with the RDO and Naval Science and Technological Laboratory. The Indian Army has shown interest in an anti-drone system developed by the Crown Group, that can be operated in a handheld manner, and consists of technologies that can spot and target drones even in low visibility. The currently operated anti-drone systems by the Indian Army are not handheld, due to which it cannot be deployed in remote areas. 
The Ordnance Factory Board has announced that the 155mm Sharang artillery gun has successfully completed reliability firing trial, which is a 100% indigenous upgraded version of the 130mm M46 field guns, and its range has also been increased from 27 km to 39 km. Hindustan Aeronautics intends to design and develop an amphibious version of the Dornier 228 aircraft under the Make in India program, that will be offered to military operators for establishing inter-island communication, search and rescue as well as reconnaissance operations from the strategic islands. Officials have said, that the RUAV-200 will have its first flight by June 2022 and the work on vendor selection and tenders for the engine have been issued. The company has also received the provisional certificate for the indigenously developed engine and flight display unit for the Jaguar Darren 3 aircraft, which will now replace the imported engine and flight instrument system. The Defence Research and Development Establishment have finalised Indian standards for NBC protective clothing, and India will no longer be dependent on US and German standards, and with this India has also joined an elite club of just three other nations. Five types of NBC protective systems and equipment have also been devised for the Indian troops. The Indian Air Force Chief has operationalized a unique real-time information sharing portal that would make work processes of Hindustan Aeronautics mutually transparent and will allow better coordination, quicker decision making and ensure higher quality. Meanwhile, the Defence Minister has said that 36 Rafale fighter jets will be inducted into the Indian Air Force by April 2022 and the induction ceremony of the first five Rafale jets at the Ambala Air Force Base in 2020 had cost more than 41 lakh rupees, which includes 9 lakh rupees in goods and services tax.